Hello, Austin Independent School District. Thank you so much for inviting me to speak during your Pride Week. I am Admiral Rachel Levine, the Assistant Secretary for Health and an Admiral for the United States Public Health Service Commissioned Corps. As an openly transgender woman, I would like to highlight the importance of diversity. Diversity for a school, a medical center, in business, in government, and really for every organization. I strongly feel that diversity, in all of its myriad and wonderful aspects, should be welcomed and actually celebrated for the way that it strengthens and enhances any community. Your Pride Out Party in the Park is a great way to embrace and emphasize diversity. We at the United States Department of Health and Human Services are excited to work on the President's agenda to create a better future, both mentally and physically, for everyone living in America. Our mission is to enhance the health and well-being of all Americans, no matter their gender identity or sexual orientation. President Biden's agenda could not be more timely for our community. We are facing an onslaught of anti-LGBTQI plus bills at state levels across the United States. These moves are dangerous to public health. They target and politicize evidence-based treatment that should be considered the standard of care. And they aim to prevent healthy and necessary discussions of LGBTQI plus issues in our schools. The challenges young people face today are unprecedented and uniquely hard to navigate. And as we know, the mental health impacts of these challenges have often been devastating. As a pediatrician and as the Assistant Secretary for Health, I know that mental health is shaped by many factors, from our genes and brain chemistry to our relationships with family and friends, neighborhood conditions, and the larger social forces and policies. There is evidence that having even one supportive adult who does not have to be a parent or even be in the family, really reduces these risks. We need to support LGBTQI plus youth, their parents and families, to help them achieve the good health and quality care that they all deserve. Our community has a champion in President Biden. The president supports equality and works to ensure that everyone is represented. And that gives people a voice a chance to affect change, to help people understand the diverse needs of our nation. At HHS, Secretary Becerra and I are committed to doing everything that we can to support underserved youth and their families. The future for our community is brighter than in past generations. But even now, progress is not real unless it means progress for all. Together, we must strongly advocate for the most underserved and marginalized in our community, including our trans youth and their families. Now, I am a positive and optimistic person, and I would like to leave you with a message of hope. There is a place for you in America. There always will be. So please stay connected, stay informed, and stay safe.